from all things at once without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. So hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video I am sharing with you some of my favorite Amazon finds. These are things that I have bought, that I have used, and I have loved. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. I think my most favorite purchase that I have ever made on Amazon is this Savannah pie safe that we just got a couple months ago and I absolutely love it. On this little wall here in my kitchen, it has really been one of those spots in my house that I've had such a hard time over the years decorating. I have tried a lot of cabinets in this area and none of them quite worked until I found this pie safe. What I love about it is that it's a little bit taller so it comes up a little bit higher on the wall and really is a great fit for this space. I love that it has three shelves inside. It can hold a lot of pieces in it. and. Currently, I am housing some extra pieces of my Ray Dunn collection. I love it so much because I can change it around for the holidays and it's just a beautiful addition to my kitchen. The shelves inside are adjustable if you wanted to change them around a little bit. I have them spaced pretty equally so that they kind of line up with the window panes here on the doors. But it really does have a lot of room inside. So as you can see, I really have a bunch of things stored in here. I had been looking for a cabinet in this space for such a long time. I went to all my favorite, you know, stores about town, our little, you know, vintage and antique stores, and I just could not find what I wanted and I jumped on Amazon and I couldn't believe that I found something so perfect. It was delivered in perfect condition, nothing was scratched and we did have to put it together just a few pieces but it was really simple process and I just love the way it looks. As with all of the items that I'm sharing today, I will be sure to put links in the description box down below for you so that you can take a look at it for yourself and see if it is something that you would like to bring home and have in your home. I think that it is really easy to tell a favorite when you buy more than one. And that's what I did with these really cool bottleneck vases that I found on Amazon. So these vases are very simple. They are just a regular glass vase with a bottleneck top here. So what I've done with these is I filled them with some wooden beads that I also got on Amazon and then I just wrapped the neck with some jute twine. I added a few stems of lamb's ear from Hobby Lobby and I think they are just perfect here on my dresser in my bedroom. These are the same wooden beads that you will see all over my house. I've made garlands for my fireplace to hang from different cabinets. I do a lot of DIYs with them and I have a bunch of garlands for my Christmas tree. I like things to be very uncomplicated and simple and I think these two vases here really represent that. It's very uncluttered, it's kind of easy on your eye, and I think that it really makes a nice balance statement. Thank you. 
I have always loved mercury glass and I am always on the lookout for candlesticks or lamps. Now sometimes though when I do find them they are really expensive but I was able to find a couple mercury lamps on Amazon that I absolutely love. The first lamp that I found is this mini double gourd mercury glass lamp that is really just perfect for my kitchen. I wanted something small that we could use as a night light, you know, like when we were watching TV and you don't want all the lights in the house on. This is just perfect. It gives a nice soft light and it is really beautiful. The lampshade is a really nice quality linen lampshade and I think that the bottom is just beautiful. It says that it was hand blown. It has a beautiful chrome base. I am someone that really likes a lot of light in their home. I like to have my rooms nice and bright. I think that it is cozy and welcoming and this lamp really does help create that here in my kitchen. The second lamp that I found is this beautiful larger table lamp. We have it here in our hallway and we use this one too as a night light at night when we don't want the larger lights on. This lamp is also hand blown mercury base which is like a single gourd design. On top it has a larger linen drum shade. It gives off such a soft nice light at night. I really think mercury glass is just one of those things that can really go into any room in your house no matter what style that you like. I think that it is understated and it is just beautiful. The two lamps that I showed you, they also come in other colors. The ones that I picked were silver based, but they have gold, and I think the smaller lamp comes in some other shades as well. I could have easily had had a gold lamp here, but silver is what I fall back on for any type of, you know, handles, or I really like a lot of brush nickel, and this one is just perfect. As some of you know, we have been working in our master bath for months now, and we are just about done, almost ready to share it with all of you, but I had to share this beautiful chandelier that I found on Amazon. I'll turn the light on for you in just a little bit, but I think you might be able to see it a little bit better this way. This is a Westinghouse vintage brushed nickel three light sphere chandelier and I just love it. I think it is so perfect in this space. We have had such a hard time this past year on our master bedroom bathroom project, just finding supplies and having things delivered on time. And looking on Amazon was just something that we did out of frustration because we couldn't find anything in our area that we liked. I think the chandelier fits in so perfectly with our bathroom because my idea in here was I wanted something just really simple, not too fancy, and I just wanted it to be a nice relaxing space. And I just love the way it looks. It hangs over our big soaking tub and we have other brushed nickel accents here in the room. Our faucets and everything will eventually be brushed nickel. And like I said, I think that it is just the perfect option here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on for you so you can see what it looks like all lit up. And I really think that it is just perfect. Although this overhead stand is not a decor piece, it was too good not to share. 
I am in the middle of filming my Christmas and July DIY video, but I had to show you this Akron overhead camera stand. Before I found this on Amazon, I was really using my um, tall tripod and my tabletop tripod to try to get that overhead look, and it was really hard to consistently have the same framed area. This overhead camera mount was recommended to me by another content creator, and I think it is awesome for a couple reasons. One, it is heavy enough so that it doesn't tip over. I can use my smaller camera with it and adjust it very simply, and I think it really does give the best coverage of my work area, whether I'm doing a scrapbook video, a planner video, or like I'm working on right now, a crafting video. So with this, you get a little bit of a sneak peek on the projects that I am working on, and I do highly recommend this overhead mount if you are a content creator or you are just using it to share among your friends. I think decorating with blanket throws is one of the simplest ways to add color to a room and to coordinate pieces together. I found these throws on Amazon and they are so inexpensive and they come in 20 different colors. What I really like about these throws is they have this really pretty fringed border and they are very light. You can use these year round as, you know, just a little throw to put on when you're watching TV and, you know, the air conditioning is a little bit too cold or even in the winter time to snuggle up and read a book. Since they are so inexpensive, it is really easy to add these to, you know, a lot of the rooms in my house just as a little way to add color. And it's also an easy way to go along with the seasons. I plan on adding a few different color throws in here for the fall and for Christmas time. I think that it'll be a beautiful way to add the colors of the season into your room. The last thing I have to share with you today are these vintage white farmhouse corbel bookends. I was surprised to find that Amazon had so many farmhousey type decor pieces on their site. These corbels come with brackets on the back so that you can hang them on the wall if you wish, but I'm using them here as bookends for some of these coverless books. I do love neutral decor, and these types of bookends can be moved around to any room in my home. So thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed some of my most favorite decor picks from Amazon. Check the description box down below to links to all the products mentioned in today's video. Join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life, and please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have, be kind to each other, stay safe, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Without thinking twice. And I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to.